Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids. I've just brought you into the grow room. I've actually had a very busy uh, last few days um, checking the orchids, um, having to repot some that I felt needed it, and uh, um, feeding them as well. And uh, I started to feed them yesterday, um, which was the 18th, and um, yesterday. Um, the more the uh, mounts on the uh, the wall behind me, those are the small ones. They didn't get the calcium, but they got the NPK, and the figures were very similar. And if I put this down here, and this is the that's the wrong one. That's the autumn one. I've got a I've got a spring summer, and I've put the wrong one down now. Doesn't that just annoy you? Um, and the N, the uh, nitrogen's higher, and I can't get it now because it's uh, underneath the shelf there. So I do apologise about that. And uh, let me just show you these two here. Do you remember many months, or it seems many months ago, uh, I got these um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis, and uh, I think this one's called Sunny Cocktail. And it's sending out a cakey there, and uh, it's also sending out a little cakey there. These just sit on the bottom shelf. This one here, um, this is, um, yes, Blue Happiness, and uh, actually I haven't watered that one today. And that's sending me out two growths there, even though it's got a yellowing leaf. And um, they just sit down here on this bottom shelf. So if you just bear with me a minute, um, I'll try and not break my neck as I go down. And there we go. Right, next one. I brought the table in because it's just easier to put them, some of them on. This is the uh, Cymbidium. And it's um, Lin 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 Lithco um, Lowe's Gleam, and uh, this was in a very poor state, wasn't it? It had got spider mite, and I, I'd really neglected it. I felt awful after. But there's that new growth there, and that's doing well. I've not, if you'll notice, it looks as though that medium's quite um, dry. But I do actually, you leak down there, um, I have actually watered it. Uh, but I don't intend to overwater. This is that new growth, look at that. And if I take around this side, there. And I can't tell at the moment whether that's, um, I think that's going to be, there, that's going to be uh, a new pseudobulb. And uh, I'm very pleased with that because uh, that, that these two, th that one and this one, will be, and that one there, will be the lifeblood of this plant. After me neglecting it that long, but uh, never mind. Now all the phalaenopsis are doing absolutely wonderful and um, I think it was Roger's channel I was reading and looking and um, he, was, he suggested the, uh, the reasoning for some of the phalaenopsis dropping the leaves or turning yellow dropping the leaves is uh, lack of um, nitrogen and the, hence my reasoning for getting out that good feed and um, individually feeding them. Um, this has lost two leaves. This is uh, one of the three sisters. But I'm not worried because if, it, if this is one that had uh, terrible leaves and this is the leaf it produced last year with this speckling on. This is the new leaf and you'll see it's completely clear. Um, this is the one with the little buds developing and um, I have to be careful and we've got lots of um, 
new root development. Um, that one, that one over there, which has got a funny end to the leaf because um, that was damaged uh, as it was uh, uh, an embryo leaf trying to come through. Um, this one here, see this happened with this one as well here and uh, I can't see the roots down there but um, there are good roots because some of them have actually opened, uh, just tipped some of the media out to have a look and uh, they're all doing well. I'm really chuffed now and I think my problem has been that uh, it's been lack of water through the winter and um, and lack of feed. And I can bring this one up here. Here's another one. And uh, it's, this is in large bark. Now you wouldn't have thought that would have been uh, watered yesterday, but it was. And uh, yeah. it's got some good roots. It's got a little bit of sphagnum moss there. And actually this is what we want. We want them to get a good watering. Uh, and then to dry. There's that new leaf, you see. So uh, I am quite pleased. Um, this is another little one. Now I did repot this yesterday, and uh, into a small, a little tiny pot. This is only a miniature one, and uh, I felt that the pot was too big, so that got repotted yesterday. And this is the uh, the one from my colleague at work, and uh, that's doing fine. I've had him watered. We're going into some warm days these next few days, and um, I wanted them all to be hydrated. Uh, let's go up onto this little shelf here, and uh, this is um, the Phalaenopsis uh, Chia E. Yenlin, and um, that little leaf. It's not quite, you see, they've picked up a little bit, that one's still a little bit floppy and that's just in this little bit of sphagnum moss. So, and you see the roots there, so I'm hoping that there was enough roots left on this uh, to be able to um, for this orchid to survive. And uh, that's the uh, Bulbophyllum lobby eye. It's got new little roots coming out down there. And uh, this is uh, Little Zorro. I'm in two minds at the moment about cutting the um, uh, the um, the flower inflorescences because um, you'll see there she's she's green inside. There's no residue of water. Um, I'm just wondering if I cut them, if that will actually aid the recovery. Um, if they start to um, die back, then I'll certainly uh, let them die back because the uh, um, this little. Uh, Phalaenopsis will uh, take the nutrients back into itself, but at the moment it's dropped all its um, its flowers now. But um, I don't mind that so much. Now let's take you to the mounts, some of them, and there's a little. Well, it's a big growth, a big new leaf now. Somebody remarked, "This is uh, Tetragonum." Now you'd think. That was only fed and watered yesterday, but because it's we're going into this warmer spell, um, these will have to be done again tomorrow. They won't be fed tomorrow, but this will be watered, and um, and we can see there. I don't know whether you'll see there. There's another little, just in there. There's another little leaf developing, so that's doing fine. And this is um, Phalaenopsis Parisii. These are just pieces of wood that I've had in the garden or um, I've had given me. 
you see it's quite dry again but um, I can't over water them and uh, but they'll, that'll be watered again tomorrow and if we take this one here this is the uh, Phalaenopsis amboyensis this is a nice little species one and I do believe, sorry about that that little growth, I do believe, well it's a flower in fluorescence, uh, that it's actually starting to develop. And uh, that's doing very, very nice. Let's have a look here. This is, um, now what did I do with that one? I must have put it somewhere else. Oh, here. This is the one that I mounted. And the uh, same piece of wood, I cleaned it all, as the um, Lelia Rebensons, and this is uh, Lelia Labata. It's got that little new growth behind there. And the same, you see? And that's been watered and fed. Just hang that there. Um, we're still not out of the woods yet with the um, um, Dendrobium J.O. Candy. I have not watered this today because there's still moisture. And uh, that's the bigger of the two. And I'm hopeful uh, now that that will pull through. This is the other one. This is the only, this is the other one with only the one. Oops. This is, yes, I've watered this today. This didn't have any water in it. And, uh, excuse the noise, it's the water dripping. Um, so, they're doing fine. Um, this, this is another little one that's um, one of those little phalaenopsis. Uh, and this is um, Blue Happiness. It's got the little growth coming there. Uh, these are just um, the crew momentum ones, um, coming along nicely. Let's have a look at anything else up here. Um, I've put a little bit more moss around this one. And this is my uh, Dendrobium Ladder Jesse eye. And I tell you this poor little thing. But you know, I think now this I might actually be able to save this because there's a tiny little leaf just developing there. And I'm so absolutely over the moon. So I've put a little bit extra moss on and hopefully that now will uh, romp away. Um, let's just put that up there. Um, is there that's just the uh, lamellatum as opposed to the uh, pseudo lamellatum, that uh, little flower inflorescence there, you see, had missed a day in between waterings and that leaf came out a little bit crinkled. This absolutely, well, let's have a look at the temperature. The temperature today is 22.2 and it's 66% humidity. It was over 70, over 70 humidity, and but because I've come in and out, um, it's dropped the humidity. That's fine. This is that little, um, that's the phalaenopsis here. And again, that little root there shriveled back for some reason. And uh, this will be watered. That's a nice root there. But it's not dropped any leaves this year. Let's put that back there. And let's have a look here. This is the uh, Cattleya Malworth Orchid Glade. This is an, an H, HCC AOS. And that's got a little green root just there. Right, so let's have a look now at some of the... Uh, oh, this is... I'm so excited about this. Oh, I'll have to just... Uh, See if I can bring it down without breaking my neck. Just bear with me a minute because it's got to come down in this container. 
excuse me while I try and manoeuvre it down on this table. I'm breaking my neck. And uh, here we go. This is my Angraecum uh, Squiffidale. There we go. And this is the one that I repotted. Was it last week? Was it the week before? And uh, I can't tell you. This leaf here, look, it stood upright. Absolutely. All these leaves have been floppy. Everyone's been floppy. But even this one, I started to show strength in its leaf. And look at that. Within the space of a week, it's giving me a new leaf. So, there you see. The space of a week, it's giving me a new leaf. And although I haven't got green tips yet on those roots, um, I don't think it'll be long. And uh, so I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with this one. Absolutely thrilled to bits. Now, just hold on. I'm just going to take you off camera for a second while I lift it back. And what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you the um, Phragmopediums. This is uh, Las Varinas. And uh, let's see if we're in the wrong light. There's a new growth there. And uh, that's last year's growth here. That's the new growth for me here. And it's sending out that little growth down there. I don't know if you'll see it in this light. I don't think there's any more. Um, Ed was saying, uh, how do you know when they want watering? And he says those who are now more experienced will be able to tell by the weight. Now, that is quite heavy. So, um, that doesn't require watering. And I'm going to, I'm not going to... Uh, let's have a look at this one. This is uh, Longiflorum. This is one of those seedlings I got from Burnham's Nurseries last February and it was £6 and look at the length, this is the, the newest leaf here and if we just look there at first I thought that was a little root but no, that's a new growth so I'm super excited about that now because this is in a smaller one um, a smaller pot, this will get watered later. So that goes just goes up there on that shelf and let's see if I can bring Phragmopedium Richteri. And there we go. Still flowering its little heart away. Look at that. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? can't see anything else as you know I don't think I'm going to get any more but that's on this higher shelf here and uh, it hasn't started to die back yet so I'm really thrilled with that one and then once it's flowered um, you see this one yes this will get watered tomorrow I can tell by that one. And let's move over here. And uh, these are this one here. That was water just today, but I'm just looking there and you just see a little bit of liquid there. Now I thought See, I don't water them from the top, so I'm just going to have to... Can you see that little bit there, in there? I'm going to press it too. I'm going to get... There, see? It's a good job I've spotted that, because that could give that um, stem rot. But I didn't water any of them 
from the top they were just uh, put in into a container to absorb to absorb all the water but you can definitely see there anyway see you've got to be ever ever vigilant there's the other one that's um the other one of the uh, three sisters and uh, that fits in that one there this is the uh, Paphia Pedalum and this is um, Rothschildian and by um, Giant Wings that's been fed, watered and flushed today and if we bring it out here I'm hopeful here, this little area here that's a new growth so I'm keeping my fingers crossed and, uh, and that's the colour Pekingii that's been fed and watered today this one's actually in water and feed and that's the uh, Path um, Balaitum by Rothschildianum and let's go over here now because I want to just get over because I need to ask uh, a question of Ed and uh, this is um, Fragmentpedium, let's have a look, and Boltii. And uh, this has got a new growth here. It's got a new growth here, so there's two new growths there. And that's doing extremely well. This is uh, the Erin, um, excuse me, um, let's have a think how I, how I say this. It's the uh, Aerades Falcata and that is the root that's developing. So um, that's very good. Good news that is. This is my uh, Mil uh, Miltasia Royal Robe and although you'll see this pseudobulb here dying back, um, it's got it's um, it's got new roots developing there and new roots developing under that one. Let's bring you here in the windowsill. Do you like the? Uh, I'll bring it over here and I'll show you. This is the new stand for. There we go. For the Lelia Rubensons. And uh, so that's allowing the maximum air to get round there. That's been fed yesterday. And uh, you can see those roots still hydrated. And it just sits on the windowsill there. Uh, this is uh, Fragmentpedium Grande. Push that little label up there. That's got this new growth, this new growth, and the one at the front. And uh, that's doing wonderfully well. Well, in actual fact, everything's doing well. Let's take you to the newcomers, and I'll show you what I've done with the newcomers. This is the um, Vanda Peaches, and uh, they're in this open type basket. Uh, this is the, uh, this little one here is the um, Vanda, Vanda, um, well there we are, can you see it? And uh, that's been fed and watered. Uh, this is the little uh, baby angel and I'm going to lift this one off. That's those two new roots and uh, if I just put this one over here sorry about that and I'll show you what I did with this one and this is uh, Vanda Peaches and with this one I made a hanger out of this uh, clay pot because I thought well what I'll do is I'll I won't grow them all the same way 
and um, I'll see if because I've seen some subscribers um, actually grow them in clay pots and uh, so that that one goes in there um, ones this is the um, let me have a look Ooh. is the um, Alcata by Sidon Denfenia. I've probably butchered that name, I do apologise. And that's uh, in this basket here. And that's been fed and watered today. And this is the the other little one um, which I've put in this open type of basket. And this is um, Falcata, Banda Falcata uh, Shutano. And, uh, and that's got its little roots just underneath here, so it's nice and open. That's the Sidera japonica there. And uh, we'll put this other one back now. So, um, and then um, these get the uh, maximum sun as it comes through that window. Excuse the noise outside. And um, that is the. Um, Species um, Oncidium Powii. Uh, this is my um, Dendrobium um, Chrysotoxum. Um, oh, that's another one of the Phalaenopsis here. Look at that. Lovely new roots. Look at the leaves. It's been hard work because. Um, I've had to check each one individually and make sure that um, I've been giving them the right food and um, checking that the roots are fine. Now this is the only one that I'm struggling with at the moment and I don't know whether Ed will be able to help me. I've watered it, it's just got a little bit of water down there and this is um, Frag Emulia Aria. And um, I'm struggling with this one, Ed. Um, it had a new growth there which is died back. And I'll show you this. This here. Can you see, Ed? It's very, very weak. So, um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but I've had to cut that leaf. Can you see that leaf? So I'm struggling with that one, and I don't know why. But let's just take you up here, and uh, because I'm running out of time now. And there's that lovely uh, Phalaenopsis breeze. There's the uh, Delicatum, and that's the big grassy corley. So from me to you, thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye now.